It's the first of December. Two, one. Hi. So an inconvenience. Dessert time. I'm in the spare room because ever since setting it up, I have just loved being in here. I think it's just like a fresh new space and the room feels like new and redone. So in last week's video, I threw around the idea of potentially doing a Vlogmas style or like trying to incorporate a bit of Vlogmas into my channel. I also posted a TikTok asking people if Vlogmas is something that people like to watch these days. And all the comments were like, yes, love Vlogmas. Also, surprisingly, a lot of people saying that they actually found me through my Vlogmas in 2020 and 2021, which I found so interesting because I just I never really thought about that and there was even some comments from people saying that they go back every year and watch my vlogmases which I do that for other people but I just I suppose I just never really I like, never really crossed my mind that people would do that for me I don't know so it's really just like got me into the the idea of kind of wanting to do a vlogmas style I did mention in last week's vlog the idea of doing two videos a week so just kind of like vlogging more in general and then splitting the weekly vlog up into a part one and part two so i think i'm going to try that this week and just test out how it goes but to start off this video i am i feel giddy with excitement because my christmas decorations are arriving today i cannot tell you how excited i am i feel like i've been waiting for them to arrive for months now it hasn't been weeks but it feels like months and i'm just so excited so that does mean we're setting up the house for christmas today I'm so excited. It's also a bit of a rainy, cozy day today, which is making me feel extra cozy and like I just want to spend the entire day inside, taking out my house in so much Christmas. I'm ready. I am so beyond ready for this. I'm ready for it to look like Christmas just threw up in my house. So they should be arriving the next hour and then we'll begin one of the best days of the year. Also, I dice into my hair this morning and I didn't put any hairspray in because I don't actually have any. So they were very, very fresh and bouncy when I first did them. They definitely dropped a decent amount, but I feel like I'm slowly getting the hang of them a little bit more. And it still just kind of added that like 90s bounce almost. Also, I discovered this last week when Georgia Lang and I were out shopping, we went to Sephora and Lang recommended this, which is just the Sephora brand lip gloss. It's a lip plumping gloss. I can show you in better lighting. It kind of tingles a little bit it's like ever so slightly tinted i love the shade of it and it just really gives your lips a bit of a plump i recommend i think it was only like 19 dollars as well which i feel like pro lip gloss is pretty good i have a meeting in about an hour which i'm a little bit nervous about to be honest it goes for an hour and that's what scares me i don't know i'm just a bit nervous about that i'm hoping christmas stuff will arrive then i jump on the call and then as soon as the call is done it's time to start setting up and i plan to do that for the rest of the day i smashed out today's work and yesterday's work yesterday so that I could dedicate this afternoon to setting up for Christmas and I'm very glad that I did. I'm just about to jump on my meeting and I don't quite have time for lunch beforehand but I'm getting a bit peckish so these are my new obsession. Green back protein bars. They have quite a few different flavours but I think uh, it's a toss up between the hazelnut and the mint for me because I do love a chocolate mint moment but I'm currently obsessed with these and they're just the perfect like between breakfast and lunch or between lunch and dinner snack. I love them. I'll open them up and show you. They're so good. They also have a salted caramel, which is quite phenomenal. Look at that. They smell so good. And I'm just like, they're such a satisfying consistency. It literally tastes like a Ferrero Rocher. I'm not playing with you when I say that. I always get a bit sad when I've had one. They're kind of expensive, so usually I have one a day. And I get a bit sad whenever I have had my one, because I'm like, no, I have to wait till tomorrow to have no one. Okay, I need to go stand up in my office. I'm kind of a bit nervous. I think there's just going to be quite a few people on this call. And that's scary. Well, I've got my snack and I've got my water. I'm hoping it goes well. I'm sure it'll go well. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? It's so lovely to meet you. I feel like it's like crept up on me so much. It's been like, oh yeah, it's happening. And then it's like, oh, Kate's next Monday. <laughs> like three bunch of here. I've never looked better. It is a few hours later. I ended up having not a busy day, but just kind of like running here, running there, and went out, did a massive grocery shop. Anyway, that's not important. Look what's behind me. Nine boxes of Christmas things arrived at my house. Pulled every single Christmas thing that I could ever want and need ever in my entire life. This year, I really wanted to like step up my Christmas, my Christmas decoration, my setup and everything. So I was doing some Googling and I think Someone I followed posted Balsam Hills. I'd never heard of Balsam Hills before. And now that my eyes have been opened to Balsam Hills, I cannot believe I'd never heard of them before. They're basically like the most beautiful 
Christmas decorations, trees, everything you could ever want and need for Christmas. I got a new Christmas tree. I really feel like this is the this is the Christmas tree that I will have for the rest of my life. And this might sound so silly, and I don't plan on having kids anytime soon. But the fact that this is like my Christmas tree, probably for the rest of my life, this is the Christmas tree that my kids are gonna wake up on Christmas morning and run down to check the presents underneath. That is just so special. So I am so excited. I've also made myself a tea, a little English breakfast in my Christmas mug. I've officially cracked it open because it's the 29th. No. The 30th of November. Also, feel I need to address this. I've decided to try rollers. I've never tried rollers before. I'm not sure if I did it right at all. I don't have clips, so I used hair ties. But you saw my hair was kind of already a little bit wavy from the Dyson. So I just thought I'd try it. I've only had them in for like 20 minutes. I think I'll keep them in for an hour or two and see. I definitely don't want to sleep in them. And it does feel a little bit pointless doing it before bed but i wanted to give them a go and it really didn't take me that long it took me like maybe 10 minutes probably kind of great doing a test run actually instead of doing it just before like i have an event to go to and if they fail you know anyway sam's getting home in about an hour and a half ish i'm going to wait for him to set up the christmas decorations even though i'm so impatient and just want to set them up now but it is my favorite thing to do every single year is set up the christmas tree together setting up the christmas tree with a christmas movie on the background is arguably the best part about christmas to me i will show you really quickly a couple of things because i did open a couple boxes because i was impatient and wanted to see i can make sure to have everything linked below as well in the description box everything that i got in case you did want to pick any up for yourself. I opened this box and it's full of holly and I'm going to put all of these in the tree. I really feel like these kind of things really elevate your tree. And then I also opened another parcel with these little star decorations. Aren't they so special? They're going to reflect off the lights and it's just going to be magical. It's going to be magical. I'm kind of thinking that I can set up the little things, the little extra things around the house without Sam. When he gets home, we can do the tree together. I'm 99% sure this is a little Christmas wooden village. <gasps> Yo. It's a wooden Christmas village. This looks so much more beautiful than I ever expected it to. Where am I gonna put it? Look at that. <laughs> Handsome boy. <laughs> We're matching. Bring him around. He was like, <laughs> so inconvenienced. <laughs> yeah, how dare I? Look at you two. <laughs> there you go. How wholesome of us. It's the first of December. We can open up our advent calendars. I've actually got two this year. Sam's only got one. I got a Loser. Co a coffee. Loser. One. I'm just gonna open my coffee one over here. No, no, come, come front and center. So was kind enough to get me an espresso advent calendar, which I didn't even know these existed. It's the espresso with Hermes. Collaboration. Yeah, but the E's have got a little thing. Pierre Hermes. Hermes. It opens up like that. That's got all the. It's so cool. Coffee pods, basically. An espresso, <laughs> like espresso pods. I've got a dairy free chocolate one that I found from. I think I found it in Big W, which I don't think I'll open just yet because it is at 6 a.m. and I don't really feel like chocolate. I also got myself a T2 one. Look how impressive that is. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, one. There it is. Like a book. Day one, coffee. Such a good idea to have a coffee because really I have is. a coffee every day. No, I was in the Nespresso store and I was like, do you guys happen to have advent calendars? Assuming she would say no, she like, we actually do. I was like, sign me up. Number one, this one says, enjoy a cuppa. Well, I just will. That is the most satisfying sound. Okay, we have, oh, it's packs of peach. It's the peach flavored tea. And the message says, a different tomorrow is made in the teas of today. I can't believe it's the 1st of December. It officially. I can, it's about time. Officially Christmas! Now we explicitly listen to Christmas music. I only watch Christmas mu movies. Do you pump Christmas music in the gym? I would rather not work out. I don't think I would pump it in the gym. Yeah, it's like 6 a.m. It is so cold. Yeah. Well, it's so cold, but it's it's chilly. Mm, it's cold for an Australian summer. It's this the first is day of summer. The first day of summer. And it's dark. It's, it's like 15 degrees. It's 15 degrees. Normally it would be like 
20. And I'm just shocked. It kind of feels cozy, which is weird because it never does. In doesn't feel like going in the gym with us. It does not feel like going in the gym with us. I tell you, I was that close to not going this morning. Sam's alarm went off and I was like, well, I'm not going. And I was like, no. You're gonna regret it all day if you don't. Also, I tried the legging heatless curl and it worked so well. So impressed. I woke up a few times and it was, the thing was like completely off my head. I woke up like I was like, surely not working. And I took it out, it looks like this. Also, that is the grandest tree I've ever had in my entire life. Wow, it kind of looks real. It looks like the real trees in the UK, I feel. I feel like it kind of has like a real element. What a festive way to start the first of December. I hope the tree doesn't look too real because this one will see it as a plant. I know, I'm really... So, last year... Last year, last year, I had 36. 37. Do you know that's from? What? Had what? 36. I thought you said dirty sets. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay. Last year, Harvey was just a little puppy for Christmas. We got him the last week of November, I think. He was so little, he didn't really know what like a tree was. He was just kind of a little like a little fluffy ball who just kind of walked around. And so uh, I'm what is he now? That's true. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm scared now he's a little bit more what's the word? Clued in. Clued in and he's gonna try and do something to the tree. We haven't left it yet and I'm scared so terrified like I almost want to put up like a gate around the tree so he doesn't think Harvey it's a good idea. Reminds me of a cross between Stewie Griffin from Family Guy and <laughs> Perry the Platypus from Phoenix and Ferb. Because he's he's all cute and like fluffy and lovey but like also he's very sinister. Like, he, he knows he and, he, and he knows what he's doing. He pretends like he doesn't know yeah. anything. Yeah. He's a dodgy character. He is he is a bit dodgy. So I'm on my knee just in the shop here. Oh you hate that. I do. That's literally what our tree looks like. It's so cool. You know how normally with so this is a pre lit tree. Yeah. You have to like plug in all the layers yeah. and it's kind of like hard to... That was impressive. No, you, I have to do it. Well, yeah, you yeah. have to find all the little things and connect them. You made me but know. by just putting like each section in is where the lights connect. Yeah, it's pretty like, cool. Like it's through the center. You know the other thing I noticed? That is mind boggling. One of the first things I noticed what? is that we put it up and we were like roughing it up and doing... So we call it like... Fluffing. It, pluffing. Fluffing. Fluff, fluffing. <laughs> All these, oh, all these Christmas terms. Get off, get off the table. And the distinct lack of like little pieces of Christmas tree everywhere yeah. has impressed me. Because like last year, Harvey. That's so true. I didn't even. Like, think there's about like that. I can see two right there. Normally the floor is. Normally covered. it's cut. You have to sweep after, like sweep up all the little green bits off That's the tree. That's so true. But I noticed yesterday after we did it, like yeah. there's barely any on the ground. It's held together really well. It's obviously pretty good quality. I was impressed because I was always like. Wait, I don't, so I just go, shh, 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 shh. I'm just like, oh my god. I'm so what impressed me. And also, yeah, the, the interconnecting lights. Isn't it crazy that this is going to be our Christmas tree for like forever? Not yeah. if this one's got anything to say about no, it. No, he will not destroy it. <laughs> like, this will be our Christmas tree when we have kids. We'll, we'll with the family, have the coolest Christmas tree. We need to put the star on top. We, we need do batteries. need to put the star on top. Batteries. But the star lights up. So we need batteries for it. Put my hair in a ponytail because I feel like that's the best way to preserve the curls. Oh my gosh, my ponytail looks so short. When you felt like you dreamt of all night and then you just wake up and you're just like, what is going on? That's how I feel. It is so rainy and miserable. It's kind of crazy. How is this the first day of summer? I tell you what, if we have La Nina or whatever it's called again, I'm gonna sue.
Africa. It is that cold and that rainy. I just feel so wrong. Anyway, I didn't explain what I was doing today at all, but it's been a very future you store focused day today. So we've got the water bottles launching. Actually, when this video is live, the new water bottles will be live on the website, which is so exciting. We spent the day today organizing PR boxes, which I've actually never done before. It's still very much in its baby starting stages. So it's just always like quite exciting to get to a new level. So I decided with the new launch of the water bottle, I wanted to do a fun PR send out, which is really, really exciting. I've always wanted to do something like this. Basically today we kind of organized everything that was going to be going into them. We just went to Officeworks as you saw and bought some stuff that needs to go in it. I'm writing little personalized notes to go in all of the boxes. So I kind of like made up a little design for the notes and printed them off. I'm about to head to a $2 store of some sort that's closer to my house to try and find boxes because you would think that finding some nice plain white boxes would be kind of easy or at least I did but surprisingly it's very hard to find really nice boxes and I stupidly should have bought them online because I feel like things are just so much easier to find online but because it's a bit of a quick turnaround and I wasn't organized enough I'm trying to just buy them in person because I want to send them out over the next couple of days so yeah we've got a couple of things sorted we're heading to the warehouse tomorrow to actually pick up the water bottles that will go into the PR sends but yeah that was basically the main goal of today just to organize all of the PR sends and the boxes for the new water bottles launching and the idea that I came up with for the PR box was hydration for summer like in our hydration errors hydrating your body inside and out Outside. So I'll show you everything that I put in as I build them, like make them and put them together. But it's just very fun. This is the kind of like creative stuff that I really, really enjoy doing. So that's what me and Rach were doing today. We are shocking though because we're both talkers and we can both talk for quite literally hours about anything and everything and it ended up being a couple of hours of catching up and then we got stuck into work and got a decent amount done. Kind of the perfect day to just sit in a cafe. So excited to get home and turn my Christmas tree on. Do you know what? So I grew up my whole life always putting the Christmas tree up on the 1st of December. That was how it was done. That was just like a tradition. And then last year I think I put it up maybe like November 20th. It's like 10 days early and this year obviously I was waiting for it to arrive. But I actually loved putting it up on the 30th of November. So then you wake up on the 1st of December and it's already set up. But it's like the first morning you're like waking up and seeing it. And I think I'll be doing that from now on. Because of the weather, I'm really just looking forward to going home, showering, taking off my makeup, getting into Christmas PJs, plonking myself on the couch, and watching Christmas movie in front of my Christmas tree. That sounds pretty stunning to me right now. It's a little bit well later on now. I've spent the evening on the couch editing in front of the Christmas tree. We just watched, what did we watch? <laughs> I don't know, some one of your shows or something. If anyone saw my TikTok, you would know that I've gotten, after five years of a relationship, I've gotten Sam into the Vampire Diaries. Into the stretch. No, it's not, <laughs> don't even. He won't let me get it on record, him saying, can we watch the Vampire Diaries? I have never said that. You've said it like every day. I haven't. Who's I haven't. your favorite character? If I had to pick one. We're up to season two, episode five. It used to be Stefan, right? At the beginning? Yeah. Well, only because he was the only good character. Is it a Lark or a Laric? <laughs> a Laric. You can just call him. Yeah, Rick. Ricky, the teacher. He's a he's a swell dude. You just like the, the good guys, the heroes. Well, not just the heroes though. Like, I, don't, I don't really like... Well, it's not like I don't like him, but Stefan's just a bit... Just a bit moody when I pay attention to the show. Most of the time, I'm just on my phone. Anyway. You're not. It is dessert time. <laughs> So I no, thought I no. would do my advent calendar and I haven't tried this chocolate before. Ooh, 12 caramel and sea salt plus 12 creamy chocks. Mm. Okay, so number one. One, found it. Ready? This is the best sound. Oh, that what wasn't... What is that sound? <laughs> that wasn't the best. I just heard the greatest sound ever. I didn't know what it was. Normally it it's It sounded good. like cardboard ripping. <laughs> wow. Normally it's good. Wait, wait. I got it. No, yeah, but like, can't you just give no. it and pop it out? No. No, absolutely not. A little, little drop. That's actually quite good. That's the best sound. Does that just make you feel Christmassy? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> that is sad, child. I don't hear that sound at Christmas. Did you have advent calendars as a kid? Yeah, but that doesn't sound like anything. No. It's just like cardboard. It's advent calendar with foil. <laughs> I just love staring up at my tree. Isn't she beautiful? By the way, Balsam Hills, I think... I think, I'm not sure if they're over yet, but I know that they were having a sale and it could potentially still be going on. So if you wanted to get your tree for next year, I'll have it all linked below. But I'm gonna head up to bed now, I think. I'm gonna make myself a tea, actually. Today, Rachel gave me a little present, which I was not expecting at all. Where is it? I did already have a hot chocolate in it, so it's a bit dirty right now. But she gave me this mug. And you can look at that and be like, oh my gosh, that's the cutest mug ever. 
However, what takes it to just the best Christmas mug I've ever seen. You're really going to have to look past the point that I did have a hot chocolate in it today. But it has a little gingerbread at the bottom, which is just the best thing ever. You finish your drink, gingerbread. It's like a little treat every single time you finish your drink. I love it. And the pink and yellow and gingerbread... I love it. It's my new favorite Christmas mug and I will be using it every single day for the rest of the month. Anyway, I'm going to say goodnight to my Christmas tree. I'm out to bed. Just felt very tired all today, but I feel very relaxed now. I just feel like sitting on my couch in front of the Christmas tree. Honestly, I'm not over-exaggerating. It makes me feel so relaxed. Like it really just brings me that much joy. Sunny. They're they're giving. Tell me what you think they're giving. They're giving Meredith Blake. Oh, okay. What were you thinking? I was thinking Princess Diaries. Oh, so true. Heads. I quite enjoy. I quite enjoy too. They're like retro. Where are they from? Billy J. Oh. Twenty five dollars. Oh, oh. I know. Bargain. I know. <laughs> Don't. Don't. I'm now at Georgia's house. Hi. <laughs> it always sounds weird saying Georgia. Never. It'll never. Georgia. Be Georgia. 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 You know when? Sometimes things so get true. Free, though. My hair is still kind of wavy from the heatless curls. Stunning. I'll be doing that again. Although I had a terrible sleep because of it. Do you sleep awful? The first night I did, but it gets mm. easier. <laughs> it gets better. Yeah, it gets better. Okay, well that's good. I was just editing this vlog because I'm really trying to hold myself accountable to this posting two times a week and splitting the weekly vlog up into two parts. But I wanted to end quickly showing you the new water bottles it would have just launched by the time this video goes up so i wanted to talk you through them just in case you wanted you needed some more convincing because i personally think they're the best water bottle you'll ever buy three dot points wow put me on the spot number one number one so so cute number two will keep your ice frozen and your water cold so long so long it's Sometimes kind of scary it is scary because you'll pick it up and it'll shake and <laughs> ice it and you're like how? Like I put ice in it like 24 hours ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, spooky. Yeah. yeah. Number three, the handle. The the, the lid the in lid. general. Yeah. The handle. The straw is probably one of the best straws. Yeah. Has a little knob so you don't have to Touch get your fingers it. all up in the oh, straw. No, no. I get it. Stunning. I love that. Thank you for that integration. Oh, so welcome. My rate is. <laughs> I'm not going to name any names, but there is a specific water bottle company that I feel like is very popular in Australia. Would you agree? Yes. Yeah. Now this water bottle company is great. However, a lot of people complain, and I get it, that when you're at the gym or just anywhere, you have to touch the little end part of the nozzle to open the lid. And you don't want to be doing that. You don't want to be at the gym picking up dumbbells that hundreds of other people have used, and then you touch your the sippy thing of your water bottle and then put it in your mouth. <sighs> it's a sickness waiting to happen. This, I'm just going to show you. Yeah, it's got a little perfect... Perfect little hook. Just don't have to touch it. Yeah, stunning. Okay, so we've got two colors launching. This pink, I wanted to come out with a very subtle pink color. It's still very neutral, but just like a bit of fun. You know what I mean? And then it's got just very subtly, because again, I like subtle, feature you, feature you, FYS. And then it's just plain on the back, white lid. So, oh, sorry, I did just have a coat no sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Well, 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 that's the turntable. <laughs> Previously we had the black lid, but I wanted to change it up and do a white lid because I haven't seen much of that around and I think it looks very beautiful, very kind of feminine and just like light and fun. So we've got that, that comes in the pink little cylinder and then for my very neutral, basic, simple girls, we have a plain white. So this is this is the cylinder that you'll get. Cute little quote there. A little fun fact on the top. This one is just completely plain. I wanted to make it as simple as possible. So the only thing that has on it is a little Future Store FYS down the bottom in that sage green. Other than that, completely white. Just into the basics. You go for very neutral active wear, very neutral clothing. You just want a plain, nice classy good quality water bottle. So these are both launching. Also, if you want to get in before Christmas, I would think buying around now would be perfect time if you want to buy anyone a christmas present or you're like wanting to tell someone to buy you one for christmas i reckon this would be a good time to do it 
ASAP because I feel like shipping around Christmas time can take a while. But yeah, I will link them in the description box if you'd want to shop. So that brings us to the end of the weekly vlogmas part one. Woo! I hope you enjoyed. It was a very, very festive vlog. I've loved editing it. I've loved filming it. And I'm very excited to continue filming the rest of the week and post that. Posting two videos a week for a month, which I know sounds like nothing, but it's an upgrade from the once a month, once a week. <laughs> hey Grace, I shop for you. Oh, I'm snuggling his nose in. Oh. Okay, bye. Bye, bye. Merry Christmas. Bye.